Guys, here we are back with part three of the Speedy House build from Google Maps and Structure Studios. Pull Studio Blue. We're going to be putting in some draft houses. We're going to be doing a little bit of detail action. We're going to put in a retention pond, a little boat dock, or a little pier. And I'm just randomly grabbing draft houses. This is just going to be for presentation purposes. Um, so let's put in this retention bond. I'm going to use spas um, for this. And I'm just going to make um, make a shape here. And this is kind of what it looked like in uh, on Google Earth. So um, I'm just going to draw this as such. So here we are. So we're going to drop this down. So what I'm going to do, you see there is a, it's like a bulkhead uh, sidewalk that goes around um, this entire retention pond. So using the D outline tool, D shortcut key, I'm just going to make a, a 36 inch uh, walk around uh, bulkhead type thing here. And we're going to drop that down a little bit because this does, obviously, it probably drops about 24 inches. So in terrain mode, I'm just going to take my brush and with my elevation uh, set, I'm going to go minus one all the way around. Just getting on that edge. And then when we get down here, we're going to take the smooth tool and we're going to smooth it out a little bit so that we don't have those rough edges. Now I want to keep the edge, the bottom a piece of my circle brush right on the edge of the bulkhead so that I do not go over that. So now that this is done, we're going to change. We're going to put some. We're going to put some cladding in here for bulkhead. Uh, we're going to change. I usually try to make this just black on a retention pond or koi pond or something like that, just for better reflection and views. I mean, you're not going to be able to see the bottom of these murky uh, retention ponds anyway. So in the, let's see, let's draw this little, this little pier they have going on here. It's like a little paddle boat. Uh, that's what they're only allowed to have, is a little paddle boat. So no motorized boats for this particular retention pond. And then we're going to make it some, uh, apply some wood material. Let's add some posts or some piers just for just for realism purposes and we'll adjust these in just a second make sure your wood grain is going in the proper direction and we're gonna add there let's put one in the middle over here and let me see what we got here yeah let's there we go let's drop all these down below and there we're done so just adds a little bit of uh, a little bit of detail and this already has this particular home already has like a patio with a fire pit or something like that but uh, let's just say that there's nothing out here and we're just drawing something um, so in hardscapes and decks let's just uh, let's just mock this up here so it, it looks like there's a few steps going down but again I don't know the elevation so you know we're just guessing here I'm gonna put the steps on the um, on the little paddle boat um, pier side. So I dropped it down 12 inches. It's probably more like 24 inches is what this thing drops down. Um, but again, I don't know. So we're just going to say it's, it's 12 inches. We're going to do one step uh, to get down to the paddle boat pier. And there we have it. So let's add some uh, let's add some planting. We're gonna put a happy little tree here, and we're gonna put a happy little tree over here, and we're gonna do some fillers. And it's all generic. And let's just say, and let's look for some shrubs. So we're gonna there. Usually these are gonna be fence lined with some shrubs and. You know, there'll be some things here. Again, you know, I'm just copy-pasting, using my new variation button and my new variation function. And if one uh, comes a little smaller than the other, I use my E shortcut key for scale and just kind of scale it up and rotate it in place and, you know, we're good to go. So again, um, make sure that your walls and fences is not uh, overlapping on a custom shapes house or hardscapes and decks because it will 
auto elevate so be careful with that so let's add some shrubbery up here see that it's a little smaller so i made it a little bit bigger let's put in a fire pit so usually i make my fire pits in two pieces and hardscapes and decks um but let's do a planter first um here's a planter we'll just kind of do like a free form type of uh planter um outline tool outline tool click 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 and we'll do some fillers up front put a little color down here make this some mulch and there we go we have a planter bed and so we are going to let's add some color down here uh, i'm just going to randomly grab some color and yeah, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Some blue flowers. Very nice. All right, so now it's starting to look like a backyard. So let's do a fire pit. So what I do is I get my ID, whatever I want my opening in my fire pit. I usually set that at one. D outline tool for offset or outline, and I'll make this a 10-inch cap and set it at 18 inches for the top of my fire pit, and I got a fire pit custom. Now we're just gonna. Uh, this will be a real wood burning fire pit. So let's add some. Let's add some smoke. We'll add some smoke to it since it's real wood burning fire pit and just smoke everybody out. I like the way it's black. It's like dirty smoke. Okay, we we'll add some fire. I usually turn. I always turn my volume down to one. Um, I usually make my radius like a three, and then I'll make my fire like a two, so it makes it like a like a nice big roaring fire. And let's do a seating wall. And it took every bit of 2.3 seconds. And you can apply whatever material that you want to that. Um, so you know what? Let's put it in a pool. I like this shape. So let, watch this. Let's do this. This house, it, it, you can't have a pool here, obviously, because of the retention um, there are easements and setback restrictions and that sort of thing. So, but I'm just going to do this just for you know, demonstration purposes. Um, so you can put a little pool here. It'd be kind of cool. It looks like some geometries cross. I'm voided out here, so I'll fix that here in just a second. It's the planter. The planter we usually call uh, cause those uh, voids uh, when they overlap the pool. So, I'm going to explode my decking. I'm going to delete that planter and there's some points here i usually smooth these out um, it just helps with the geometry and let's drop this down let's do a 36 inch walkway or something it's going to go around here i'm going to explode that click click and then ungroup and then group and then connect here now let's go Let's go around. We'll, we'll remove this planter. Let's just say there's a sidewalk that goes around the side of the house. So we do here, snap around. There we go. We're going to ungroup this, click. And this is going to mess us up here. So we're going to click that. Let's get rid of these plants. And we'll move them over to the side. We'll use them later. And uh oh. Our geometry is all jacked up. So we're going to click, ungroup, regroup, and we're back in business okay so here we go we got a cool uh, weird pool shape um, and let's just put these plants over here we'll do some fill uh, with these plants drop these in let's make these a little bit bigger just a little adjustment here copy 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 we're gonna rotate these around that looks good there let's put in a uh, let's put in a palm over here here's our coping we got a edge of the pool which is nice I want to grab this mm -hmm. jewel here and we're going to put it in place and there we have it so done deal now our model's starting to look a little more complete. We got us a smoky fire. We got us a cool little pool. Uh, we got us a little paddle boat pier out here on the retention pond. We got some plants in there, and we need some steps and benches. So let's make a, let's make a 
Give me a quick set of steps and benches. We got a little Baja shelf here. And let's do a little, uh, now let's do a full on, let's do a full on. Here we go. So we'll go here, there. Yeah, a lot of people probably put smaller steps, you know, saying, oh, we want more pool space that they'll never use. But I like a little bit of shelf and some steps. So for this, that's what we're going to do. All right, so here's our bottom step. I'm going to set this to six, and there we go. Good to go. Our business. Oh, it's rock. Okay, so let's change this material to some pebble. We'll do some black galaxy. That looks pretty good. Okay. I don't have any water on top of it. That's all right. So here we go. Let's, um, what else are we going to add here? Let's put some vehicles out front. And a little Range Rover. I gotta fix that driveway. A little Escalade here. And there we go. And now it's not sitting in the grass. Perfect. All right. So now let's get on and move on to a little bit of banding detail on the house. Maybe some gutters. Um, there is a video on custom gutters that we will. Um, if you wanted to watch that, so that's kind of the method I'm using here. So I know I have a 12 inch overhang, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset this on my D outline tool. I know it stops here. I'm going to go 12 inches. That's my soffit, my overhang. And I'm going to come all the way around to the other side and then stop right about here. And then I'm going to offset this with my D outline tool out about five inches and that's going to be my gutter and I'll just snap it in place so for my gutters I usually like to make them inclined on a custom lip style I'm doing about a four if I have a five inch gutter or a six inch gutter and then I just kind of eyeball them in place and then I will get in there and do uh, a little more detail work and snap them all in place um, so like about a one inch reveal on uh, on the fascia and then we are good to go on the gutters. So here's our first set of gutters. And we're going to turn our snaps back on so we can get some little detail work going on here. So I'm going to snap it in place. And then if I have to manually adjust in 3D, I'll have to go ahead and do that. Not looking for perfection here. I'm just looking for I'm just looking for a little bit of detail. Same method here. I'm going to copy this section and move it over to the side so that I know uh, because it's just hard to grab individual lines without hiding certain things so I usually just copy it in custom shapes and then just do it this way that way you know I'm not having to fight with you know tackling different lines same method outline 12 inch overhang I'm going to offset that to a five same lip style custom incline with a four and just snap this in place and now I have my gutter section in place here. So there we have it. Yeah, I'm just gonna eyeball a little bit. I'm gonna take this, move that in. Anytime you adjust the grab handles again in custom shapes in 3D, use the I shortcut key to turn off your snaps to do that. But don't forget to turn your snaps back on. So here's some gutters that I have already pre-made in my library. Um, that I use just for that. I just scale and, you know, I'll adjust, um, you know, as needed. Um, so, see, my gutter's a little bit off up there, but that is okay. We'll, we'll adjust this in place. There we go. And I'll copy and paste. Just going to move our gutters over here so we can get all this nice and tight. Perfect. And again, there's a video um, on gutters and downspouts um, and splash blocks. Um, so if you guys want to learn how to do this, there's a couple of different ways. This is the super fast way uh, to do gutters and downspouts. Uh, but as far as this profile goes, you just build it in 2D. And then, um, you know, I have, a, I have a few different styles in my library that I choose. I even have some round downs. Um, so it's real quick and easy, and I don't have to constantly build them. Um, now, it, you're going to have to get custom with them if the overhangs or the soffits are, 
you know, more than 12 inches or 18 inches, let's say they're 24 inches or something like that, you're going to have to, you know, build you some custom gutters. But at least the method will be there and you'll know, um, you'll know what the method is. So it's, it's really easy uh, when you, uh, once you build one, it's, it's very easy to um, explode and weld and then, uh, you know, for custom. So here's 2D. It's a 2D shape, see? So if you want to turn this back into... Uh, not a 2D, then just hit the edit object button on each one and it will fix it. Now this is a receiver for an in-ground, like an underground. Um, you know, just a little detail. Um, that's the way it's going to be out on the field. You know, I mean, hell, you might as well draw it. It took uh, half a second to do that. So let's add, uh, let's add some gutters here. I'm just guessing on where these gutters would be just based on, you know, being in in the industry and just you know common sense saying okay there's probably going to be a gutter right here uh, to catch that water flow then you know that's kind of what I'm doing here all right so let's add some banding detail so here's an easy one just offset at one inch um, this one I'm going to set it for a I'm going to set a square and I'll adjust it in 3d usually it's going to be about an eight inch band or something like that so what we're going to do is we're going to get in here we're going to snap it to our wall and then we're going to adjust it in place and give us a nice little banding detail. So you can do that also. Here's one. Um, we're going to do this banding on the on the main portion of the house. We already have it copied over here. So basically what we do is outline it. We'll snap it first. Outline. Offset one inch. Set our desired size, our desired lip style. And whoops and drag it over into place and snap it to the wall. This one's going to go to the wall. And then there we have custom banding detail uh, for the top portion of the house. So these little things like this that take literally, you know, five seconds to do, um, are it's, it's well worth the time, you know, that five seconds uh, is, could determine the detail between you and you know, winning the project and, uh, you know, somebody else who didn't spend the five seconds to build this. So that's kind of why, you know, I kind of do this, uh, you know, for these uh, for these type of projects. Just so, you know, it just it makes it a little more realistic for the client. And, um, you know, you just don't want to half-ass anything. So here we go. We're going to make like a tongue and groove ceiling here. And we can adjust the color and stuff like that. You know, you can make it whatever you want. If you wanted to put a, you know, some tile on the ceiling or, you know, some different type of pattern or something like that. We're just going to kind of do this right here. And you can adjust the color. It's a little bright. It looks like a little blonde wood there. So we're going to make this a little darker and change this here. Copy the same wood here and put it on our little paddle boat pier. We'll darken that up a little bit. And that's it, guys. That is a speed build in about an hour and 20 minutes. Edited, of course. Um, house build. So go back through the videos. Watch certain areas. How I do certain filler pieces. How I do certain roof lines. How I break the house down in sections. It's one big puzzle, guys. So it's easy to do. You can do it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post up, like, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one, guys.